Hello guys, welcome to Testing Academy and in this tutorial, I am going to discuss about JSON Schema Validation. So let's get started. So in this tutorial, I am going to discuss about these uh, six uh, kind six you can say the topics that i am going to cover we are going to understand what is json we are going to understand what is a json schema actually and how to validate it and we are going to understand the basic how basic json schema looks like and we are going to rest, test it out this basic json schema with a practical example using postman and we are going to leverage a library known as tiny v4 validator all right so let's get started before understanding before going to the json schema validation we need to understand what is json uh, if uh, it's a very simple concept json is a basically very uh, kind of you can say the full form of json is J javascript object not notation and these are basically key value pairs where you can transform your information from uh, as a request or as a re response right for example in the uh, for example uh, we have hit an endpoint which which has given us a re response of a user id 2 and we are getting into a human you can say very readable format and it's a very lightweight format uh, where we are getting the data and uh, we are getting the id of that user we are getting the email first name last name and avatar link okay so this key value pairs are basically kind of you can say these are the json all right so uh, what is json schema actually then schema json schema in a simple manner is basically you can say it's a data format or you can say schema which is very clear or human readable or you can say most of the time it's a machine readable and it's a structural val validation right uh, generally json schema is used to automate or you can say validate the response of a json right and in the first line i mentioned the jsk schema is a basically contract for your json document that defines the expected data types and the format of each field in the response so whatever the response that we are getting uh, as a json json schema is basically uh, defines the expected data type and ex the format that we are getting uh, we'll understand the json schema more with the example all right but we need to understand the first thing that why json schema validation required right so json schema validation required because uh, uh, for example we can monitor the api responses and ensure that that the format that we are getting uh, is same as the ex expected one for example if you are getting uh, a response so you have a json response where you are getting a user data and you have created a json schema and you want to validate every time right so that the response or for probably certain keys and extra that uh, you are getting in the json's are not uh, uh, increased or decreased according to it so we can create a json schema and validate with our json response every time uh, we want to as a api test right so using json schema to construct a model of your api response and make it easier to validate your api is returning the data it should be right it's a very simple form it's a very simple one you can al you get alert whenever uh, there is any breaking change in your json response because the validation of json schema will not match with your json response right so um, if i will uh, tell you that uh, basic json looks like this we have an array and in this array we have first name last name and a numeric array, right uh, so the top level the basically uh, it's uh, the top level of that api previously it was an array and each item has uh, certain fields and we have first name last name as a strings and age is entered right so let's create a json schema for it now the json schema that we have created it's draft 4 it's a kind of a version you can go to json-schema.org and to know more about json schema and we are using draft 4 schema where it has created the type is array items have a pro items are basically kind of a objects and we they have property of first name last name and not age and the first name is a, has a type of string last name has a type of string age has an integer so uh, as you can see the response that we were getting in the previous example now what we have done is that uh, we have created a json schema which is uh, kind of similar and basically uh, you can say 
basically showing what kind of type they have uh, so for example first name has a type of string so if your response whenever you're getting if your response for example uh, there's a bug in your system and in first name you are getting a number then the validation of your JSON schema will fail right so this is the most important point or uh, why we are doing the JSON schema right and so uh, how do you uh, you can uh, how do you validate the JSON schema so let's understand step by step process what you can do is that uh, for example if you have a, have a JSON response as expected in your API what you can do you can go to JSON schema dot net and create your API uh, create enter the response of your JSON and create a particular JSON schema now what you can do is that uh, you store that schema uh, and basically you are going to uh, match uh, you are going to match the response that you are getting every time from your from your uh, API with the schema that you have stored so schema is now your uh, expected result and the actual result that you're getting is response from your API right so I'm going to show you like in the uh, I'm going to show you that thing into postman cool now we are uh, basically how we are validating we are using a small library which is tiny validator v4 which basically there is a function where you can pass that expected result or a actual result so schema that schema object right now in the slide it's uh, your expected result and data is that you are getting into actual result right so uh, let's see how it works so this is our uh, api example right now we have so we have a data data uh, data kind of you can say object and we are it has a different properties of id email id first name and other, right so what we are going to do is that uh, for so now uh, we have a JSON schema tool you can go to JSON schema dot net and in the schema options what you can do is that globally we are using uh, you can use draft 7 as well as draft 6 it works uh, the same right we are going to change it to draft 6 and what we are going to do this is our response right so what I uh, am going to do is that uh, this is a response that we are getting right uh, I have put it into the postman and now we have the response right now we have made a get request right so I'm going to click on raw and going to copy it and basically we are going to generate the JSON schema for it now I'm going to paste right and after pasting I'm going to basically I need to change certain things for example in object I want every property should be required and in number I'm going to make sure that use the number not the integers right so integer and number are will be different ones I'm going to click this in first schema basically it's going to create the schema and uh, by default for annotations you can uh, click uh, these are like extra meta information you can definitely if you want you can uncheck them also and you are going to click again now it will give you the JSON schema properly as you can see in the JSON schema what's exactly going on uh, these are like certain meta informations and only the data is required so object uh, we have mentioned that object is required properties are optional right so data should be there it's required if data is not coming then our JSON schema is also will fail and uh, also in the properties also we have mentioned that ID these is also required so any of this field is missing then our validation will fail right and our validation will also fail if the type of for example if ID is not a number then definitely validation will fail email is not a string then it will fail okay so now what I am going to do is that uh, I have already done this in the example uh, what you can do uh, this is the request that you have made get right and we are going to the test tab now what you have to do is it's very simple uh, you have to just copy this thing uh, click on this copy blibo and uh, paste it here we are going to enter this information into this as a JSON response this is so this is our expected one this is now becomes our expected results right and what you can do you can leverage the JSON uh, you can use the tiny v v4 validator and uh, here if you go down there, there is a use of tiny validator option right but uh, you can uh, use this template I'm going to mention them uh, mention into a description also it's a very simple one we are going to leverage the pm pm dot test function and in this we are calling t4 library by default this t4 library is available in postman test uh, test tab and we are going to call the validate result function 
and now whatever the response that we are getting so response of this one response of this request we are getting this is our actual result and schema is our uh, expected result we are going to do is that if the result is valid we are going to console it out and we are going to expect it to be true so we are validating the adjacent schema with our expected data expected schema and uh, this is how we are doing in postman now i am going to run it i am going to send it and as you can see that there is a fail of it right expectation fail so why it's failing is because i'll let me give an example so what i have done specially is that i have made a little bit change in our schema because uh, i have made id is equal to string that's why it's failing so i'm going to change it to number and now the result will pass so what's happening is that uh, it's very simple one we have created a json schema out of our response and now we are validating the json response with our json schema and if anything uh, related to the properties of this schema and json's response are not matching then this test will going to fail so this is one of the important uh, concepts of json schema validation so i hope you have understand it clearly and i'm going uh, i i i will share this details uh, and i'll going to share this details also more in, uh, all the links and disc details in the description also and let me know if you have uh, any kind of question related to json schema validation and i hope you have liked it uh, please like share and subscribe and uh, this will basically encourage me to create more videos about it thanks a lot and have a nice day bye